Alright guys, today we'll go through some Atari classics and uh, just kind of go through the well-known ones. I don't expect too much and I don't really expect anybody to appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. I never owned an Atari. But uh, anyway, I figure we'll start from the worst. Which is this one. Oh, I got the sound down. Oh my god. This actually uh, kind of ended the video game era in the early 80s. It just stopped from what I heard here. And uh, then Nintendo picked it back up. But um, let's give it a shot. Uh, I heard they made this game in three weeks. <clears throat> like right around when the movie came out. So everybody that loved the movie, they bought the game. And you're about to see... Uh, if there's if there's anything to love in this game, good intro. Yeah. All right, here we go. I think that's a spaceship. What you do? You just kind of scuttle along. Okay, and the black spots are holes that you don't want to fall in. Is either around them, and there's an arrow at the top of the screen in the pink. I don't know what that means. I think that's telling me which way to go, but not really. It, it, I mean, the, they look the same. But anyway, let's run around. And I've noticed. Okay, there's like a FBI guy trying to get ET. You don't want him to grab you. Uh, and I, okay, and then you fall in a hole. You do. You fall in a hole a lot. And uh, you do this and you fly out of it. <laughs> and then you just run around some more. And there's the FBI guy or CIA, whoever that is. And these little black, there's these little spots and they're, I don't know what that is, like pieces of a ship or, or, uh, or like a rock, I don't know. And then you fall in another hole. <clears throat> And then you come back out of it. Oh, I think I fell in the same hole. Okay. And, okay. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Where, I think that's supposed to be like woods. I think it's supposed to be trees. Um, and you just run along. And every... Oh, and then you fall in another hole. But every once in a while you will uh, ah, and see so you find this stuff. I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a snake, maybe a part to a ship. I have that. It looks like a C up there in the pink. I don't know if I'm supposed to be selling, uh, spelling something. Really needed a uh, a manual, like the little book that came with the game back in the day. I guess so you know. Oh, and this must be a different hole because there's some junk right here. Okay, he stretched his neck out. Oh, there's a dead flower, and I brought it back to life. I think he does that in the movie. Ah. Okay, I can't get out of the hole, and there's really no point, so we'll just move on to another game. <clears throat> and, uh... I don't really know much about these games. That game's famous for being bad, but I did play Superman. And uh, it, it's worth it's worth looking at. <clears throat> It'll really make you appreciate even the bad Superman games that they that they've made uh recent well I say recently, ever. Have they ever made a good Superman game? Spy Hunter. I think they had that on Nintendo. Ugh. Let's see. And see, there's a Star Fox in here. And I'm wondering if that's the same Star Fox that later went to uh, Nintendo. Let's see. We can, uh, we can read the bottom here. And it tells you uh, info about the game. Came out in 83. 
<laughs> Mythicon. Okay, I, I figured it would have been like Nintendo that made that, but it wasn't. Alright, let's find uh, Superman. There's Star Wars. Suicide mission, what is that? Ugh, they all look bad. Super Cobra. Oh, and your helicopter. Super football, super man. <laughs> and this one's a real gem. Okay. Of course you know who that is. Flying over the city. I think this is an intro. Doesn't even show it moving. It's just like the background's changing. Okay, and I think I need to interact. There we go. Boom. In the telephone booth. Now he's Clark Kent. Got this yellow hard hat on. Okay, and I think that was a bridge. And I, and I know that's a bad guy with the gray gun. And I think that's bad guys with the uh, propeller things or whatever they are. Okay, and of course Clark can't can't cross because the bridge is gone, so he's got to go back. And now he's the all-powerful Superman. Okay, and I think that's how you go into buildings. See, I think that yellow is a door. And then you get in here, and I don't know. Yeah, okay, I'm inside the building. There's a bad guy. I don't know what that is. Okay, it took away my flight. Okay, I can grab the girls. Okay, no, no, no. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those. Okay, I accidentally went inside of a building. I'm looking for a bad guy. Because I know what to do with the bad guys. Oh, they keep disappearing? We're back to... Okay. I at least wanted to show you the premise. Okay. Oh, they keep running away from me. There we go, grab one. Got a bad guy. And then you fly, you don't take him in there. Seems like I'm going back to the beginning. I wonder if I can go. Yep. See, this is open world. You know, you can go. Oh, I dropped him. Oh. There we go. I grabbed him. No. No. There's a piece of the bridge. Oh. No. no. There we go. Boom. Put him in the jail cell. And I think I think he just fly through here picking up everybody and putting them in and doing all that. So that's Superman. All right, um, <clears throat> I think it's worth showing Pac-Man because everybody has an image of what Pac-Man looks like, but they're l remembering the arcade version. And uh, let's look at the Atari version. <clears throat> it is atrocious. <clears throat> All right. Good. Should I get the pill? Let me get the pill. Okay, I think we're good. Y'all get the point. And then, uh, same thing with Donkey Kong. Everybody remembers what Donkey Kong looks like. Uh, but not everybody remembers what it looks like on the Atari. So, oh, and by the way, they have a Pac-Man 4K where it does look a little bit better. I don't know what the 4K, uh, is supposed to represent. Let's see, what was I looking for? Donkey Kong. Where's the donkey? Dig Doug. Let's see. There we go, Donkey Kong.
I've never tried this one. Maybe it doesn't work. There we go. It doesn't want to work. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, the number. The score don't even pop up. Run! Got a huge hit. Okay. I'm going to press the jump button to, to activate the game start. Oh, don't go. Go up there, go up there, go up there. All right, I'm going to give it one more try. Looks like uh, Mario is wearing pajamas. Or a onesie. This is the second level. Oh, I was trying to climb up there. Alright. Let's go somewhere else. <clears throat> I'm just going to scroll through here real quick and see what we got. These are, for the right people, they would be nostalgic, but they do not hold up well. Oh, they got double dragon. That's something. Ugh. And I want to say back in the day, they could only have like four or five colors on the screen, period. I mean, it might have been ten, but it, they were limited on colors. So, double dunk. I don't know if any of these are worth duck attack. Dukes of Hazard. Earth dies screaming. What about, uh, let, let's see, we'll try, let's see if I can find Pong. It was the first video game. Let's see, where are you at? Pong. Pitfall. Oh, that's not Pitfall. It's not Pitfall at all. There we go. And I've heard of that one, so it was kind of a big deal. I don't know what pirate is. Hmm. Plaque attack. Oh, you're shooting teeth. Or you're shooting the hamburgers. Okay, plate man, polar, polo. Hole position, I've heard of that one. Papa. I don't know what's going on there. Porky's? And Porky's, that's a movie from the uh, I think early 80s. A, uh, kind of a dirty movie. Oh, I know which one. Let me see. Uh, okay, I don't see Pong. Nope, it'd be here. Alright, but there is like a uh, controversial game that was on here. I don't know why it was made, but uh, back in the day, you could just make a game and sell it uh, in the store. You didn't have to go through an Atari. They didn't have to okay it. That's how uh, E.T. slipped through the uh, slipped in there uh, being a bad game. They never looked at it. You could just make it and nobody had to test play it or anything. And that's what happened with E.T. But then you got another one on here that's uh, just ridiculous. And I'm going to put this uh, video for... Uh, uh, not for kids, so don't worry about that, but uh, let's see what it, oh yeah. <clears throat> but I'll, uh, what, what California games is. Horrible. <clears throat> Casino, cat tracks. Uh, uh, hang on, there was Centipede, that was uh, well known. But uh, back in this time, you know, it was just cool to be able to interact with something on your TV. Um, you know, that was a whole new thing, just the interaction. Um, I don't guess, you know, anybody expected it to look look good. Oh, where's that? 
China syndrome. Yeah, but this uh, this game is messed up, but I'm just putting it on here because it was famous, uh, famous for being bad, uh, nasty, and it's just who would have made a video game of that? But I'm gonna play it, and I'm not gonna give any commentary. Uh, I'll just let you figure it out. Even with horrible graphics, you can kind of tell what's going on. Alright, this is me playing. I think this is an intro, maybe? There we go. Now I'm playing. Alright, they're shooting. Here, okay, I said I wasn't going to give any commentary, and I'm not. anything ever changes. You just try to get like a high score. The way all these old games were. I'm not, not really dodging. You go over here with this. And then you gotta go before you get hit. And that's how I'm getting... Okay, but I'll end it right there. It's a pretty pretty nasty game for being 40 years old. Like, why would they even think to think to make that? Somebody sat down and made that. But because it was controversial, I don't know any of the sales numbers, but I'm sure it sold well. Uh, Deadly Dog. Kind of feel like I need to add one more because I. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the title, you know, to warn people that the, you know, these games are not entertaining, you know, but the, uh, it's more, more funny than anything. Let's see. Donald Duck Speedboat. Let's see. I'll play Double Dragon and I'll end the video. <laughs> I feel like this could be fun. I know it's going to look way bad, but uh should have the same game mechanics as the other Double Dragon. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got a punch. Oh, they can kick. Mopping the floor with me. I'm learn how to kick. Man, we gotta jump. Ah, oh, this is. How do I jump? I think I'm hitting block. Okay, I think that's a good place to end it. We're not going to find any fun here, but I appreciate you guys watching and sitting through this. I'll see you next time.